the ancient ruins of the Mayan civilization of Central America. Over a thousand years old, towering above lost cities and pristine, untouched tropical wilderness. The Maya sure were incredible stonemasons. And check out the view that the highest man in the, in the social structure would have had. Woo! We're in Belize, and right over there is the Guatemala border. Only a few miles across there, but over there, mate, is some of the greatest wilderness on earth. My aim is to go out there across the temples that have now been engulfed by wilderness and check out the wildlife, particularly the apex predator, the Morlitz crocodile. We're right in the heart of Central America's Yucatan Peninsula, heading deep into the remote rainforests of the McCall River. The upper reaches of this river are under threat from a dam that could drown priceless animal habitats forever, including a very special colony of Morlet crocodiles and the breeding areas of the critically endangered Scarlet Macaw. I've been invited to Belize to take part in the celebrations of the 20th anniversary of the Belize Zoo. This is unbelievable. This is the greatest amount of cars ever seen in Belize at one point at any one time. Here we go. It started as a refuge for animals rescued by the dedicated Sharon Matola. There is nobody that is a better spokesperson for the wildlife than Steve Irwin. particularly have to thank Sharon and her staff for inviting me here to the Belize Zoo to participate in their 20th anniversary. And what the zoo signifies is the beauty of the Belizean wildlife. The zoo is the perfect preparation for my expedition. I'm not coming any closer. It gives me a chance to check out the behaviour and temperament of the animals that I might encounter on the upper okay. McCall. And it gives me the opportunity to study the local crocodilians. Because for the first time, I'm going in on Morlitz crocodile. Hi, Have a go at this. This is an adult female. Hi, sweetheart. Come on. I've got this piece in here. Great teeth. And she's a five-footer right behind her. Have a look at that. That's one of her babies. Did you have babies in here? Oh gosh, she's cute. Have a go at this though. Look over here. See these slides? Feet marks. Now this is what makes this crocodile an, an exception uh, to a lot of the rules. You know, they're, they're, but I'm not. What are you gonna do? You're gonna have a go at me. No biting, no biting. I'm very big, look. Hey, have a look at this one here, big. Okay. These are yours, aren't they? I see that. Hey, 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 what are you doing? All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Quick, you better go in now. In you go, quick, 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 quick. Uh -huh. no, uh -huh. no biting, no biting. Quick, quick, quick. Well, look at this hole here. Did you see that? She's pretty defensive about that hole. Now, when it dries, when it gets pretty dry, what they'll do is they'll use um, the water which is lapping the surface here, and they'll actually excavate. Keep, keep digging away. What are you gonna do? This just goes to show you how a five foot female is gonna take on a six foot male. No problem at all, she like, righto, you go near my holes, near my potential nest site, and I'll take you out. Can I go in this hole here? Hey, hey, oi, 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 hey, you're a toughie. Oi, 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 hey, very naughty. I'm bigger than you. I'm pretty big. You are so funny about your hole. Come on in here. Uh-oh, here she comes. 
Here she comes. Look at this. Am I in your hole, am I? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Am I in your hole, am I? When you're hissing. <laughs> oh, gosh, isn't she a treasure? She is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. And here's something really different to me tapers. Come on. Look at the way she's using her nose. It's like a nose lip combination. So this is April, and she's a full grown adult female taper. Their nose actually works like another appendage. Hey, hey, hey. Eat the leaves. Very important you just eat your leaves. Have a go. These blokes, they're black hell of monkeys. Whoa. And then we show our teeth. See this male here with the beard? He's the big dominant male. He's the bloke. He's the howler. Now these black howler monkeys are very common in Belize in local areas, but basically throughout their distribution throughout Central America, they're in a lot of trouble. They're only locally common. As soon as the big boy moves out of the way, these little ones will come in. Here's one with a baby. She is so pretty. Look at her. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, girl. Look at this little tiny baby here. Yeah, little baby. Oh, he's going to have a feed. Look at this. He's trying. He's really trying to have a bit of tucker there. Hanging on her chest like that, um, he gets to smell and sample um, all of the tucker that she's eating. He'll get a, a, a small taste of it. And he just sees he's only got one eye which is going to present a few problems um, for the little tacker when he gets older too, you know, judging distances to jump and grab other branches. So he'll probably have to stay here in captivity. Once upon a time, I used to be in love with beaver, but now I'm in love with this anteater. What are you doing? Smell anything? I can't smell anything either. How about you? Okay. Isn't she just darling? This is the most beautiful animal I've ever shared time with. And it's quality time. I am so, so in love. Absolutely in love. Besotted by this drop dead gorgeous girl. Up you go, baby. Have a go at this. Hey, hey. She sticks her tongue right in my ear. And of course, what they. Woo, that's good. Sticking her tongue. Look at her tongue go ah, in my ear again. Look at this, look at this. And that's how she gets. Ah! <laughs> Stay out of there. That is weird. She sticks it right in there, mate. And that's how she gets termites. If you check out her claws, they've got these really, really strong claws. And their forearm are absolutely incredible. She's got me by the throat. <laughs> just kidding, of course. Oh, wow, what an experience. This is just sensational. Let's see what she looks like on the ground here. Have a go at the claws. Look at this. Huge great claws. Massive great claws. And that really long head. That's so as she's got the ability to get right in, in amongst all of the foliage and get hold of the termites. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, mate! I'm in love! I am, in, I am just totally in love. <laughs> she's beautiful. They're not all as cute and gorgeous. These ones stink, but I like them. These are one animal that you don't want to be mucking around with in captivity and in the wild. These are white-lipped peccaries, uh, an endangered species. They're in a lot of trouble, but they're still relatively common here in Belize. And I'm pretty sure I'll see these where we're going, but they're quick to run out of the way. Hear that, that, but that unk, unk, that's their teeth, jaws coming together. Woo, you hear that? You want to hold your ground or get out of the way because uh, they can get very aggressive towards people. 